We are grateful that we have a merciful God and that every week we can come to him at this time and we can reflect upon what's happened in our week and we can do our uh, weekly house cleaning as we examine our own hearts and approach him in an attitude of confession. Let me invite you to bow for just a moment of personal silent prayer and then we shall join together in the prayer as printed in the bulletin. Let us pray together. Holy friend, in the name of the love that takes away the sins of the world, we put ourselves at your mercy. It is just as well that we do not see the consequences of all our ignorant or ill-considered actions, for the burden would frighten us. It is just as well that we do not comprehend the shortcomings of all our wisest thoughts and kindest deeds, for such knowledge would depress us. It is just as well. We cannot chart the complete outworking of our many recognized faults and sins, for the grief would overwhelm and cripple us. It is well, very well, that you alone can see the complete picture and that you alone are capable of being the one who has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. It is well, very well, that we can repent those things that we are capable of recognizing and repudiating and leave all that and everything else that is sadly amiss in the arms of your unending mercy. Through Christ Jesus, our Redeemer. Amen. My sisters and brothers, it is truly written, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ will be rescued and healed. Humbly embrace the total forgiveness and the healing and liberating love that is freely offered to you and you will be made new and young in heart again. Thanks be to God. We are so uh, grateful to welcome uh, with us in worship this morning a good friend of South Maine who's been here before to share her beautiful voice, and we're so glad she could come back this morning and do that via our Facebook Live service as we welcome Ann Whitney.